Well, good morning, everybody. We are pretty excited to be here today. Wait, this is Microsoft. We are super excited to be here today. And so a whole new way of, of using computing has, has really arisen, and we want Windows to respond to that. I want everybody to think about two important elements of, of Windows 8. First, everything that was great about Windows 7, well, we took that and we made it even better in Windows 8. And then we did something that we took a step back and we said, what's the, the boldest thing we could say? And what we said is, we're going to reimagine Windows. From the chipset to the experience, Windows 8 reimagines what Windows can be. Okay, let's get started. Here I am on my new Windows device. So let's take a look at the start screen. The start screen is Windows. This is the place you come to when you start Windows, and it's the place you go to get to all the applications that you guys are gonna build that people are gonna love. I'm gonna do a little tweet about the concert that I just went to when I went and saw Viper Creek Club. So it was a cool concert. Look at that autocomplete there, huh? I typed concert on this machine before. And I also want to add a picture. So I press the little picture button, and it took me right to my hard drive and my, doc and my pictures folder, and all the pictures that I have on my hard disk are right here. And I see that I have one. But often I have pictures in other places that I have access to. I have access to them um, on friends, uh, social networking sites, on my own social networking sites. So I'm going to choose one that we wrote called Photo Feeder that has some pictures from my friend Sarah. And I go ahead and select her picture. And so I can have pictures come from a variety of things. I don't have to copy them to the hard drive to be able to access and use them. They can stay stored in the cloud in the, inside your application and then be accessed and used without having to copy them to the hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and import these. Feel free. <laughs> I think this amazing lights one looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click here, and I'm going to tweet that. And there you go. My tweet is live. I showed you how launching and switching uh, applications and getting notifications is super fast and fluid. I showed you how applications can be side by side, how applications power the system with new capabilities and new functionality, how apps can talk to other apps, how apps can talk to the cloud, and this works across all of your Windows devices. So I'm going to show all of you how amazingly easy it is with the new platform, the new tools, to actually build these great Metro-style apps. So um, I took, again, this, this uh, Scott's files and turned them into, actually just copied them into a phone project. And here again, I made one small change, and it's actually that same place, the same code that we used to launch on the phone. It works a little bit differently. I'm going to hit F5. There we go. All set. One line of code. One line change. of code change. Everybody wants a Windows PC that boots faster, that has a battery that lasts longer, that has a great graphics display, visuals, touch, sensors, and fits into the thinnest, lightest form factors ever. What's really important with Windows 8 is because DX hardware is so prevalent in the entire ecosystem, we built all of Windows 8 on a hardware accelerated graphics platform. So the reason that the UI is fast across this whole line is that everything has hardware accelerated graphics, including the apps. So you write a Metro style app, it's got graphics. Right, all the transitions, all the graphics, all hardware accelerated, yes. which we started in IE9. Yeah. And really baking that into the platform at the, at the native code. They, I think they like that. Sounds good. The work that our OEMs are doing is just incredibly cool. I mean, in all of these different form factors, and all of these are going to be great Windows 8 machines. And that's one of the most important things about what we're doing in terms of being able to support the broadest range of types of scenarios and form factors for computing. This is a PC but that we why? made together I'm, with Samsung. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, they invited us into their factories. We started with the, the shipping Series 7 design, and we did a bunch of work together. We worked with a partner called Atmel, who works on the touch controller and the display kind of integration. We worked with AT&T and Option to do the 3G module. We, we worked with um, ST Micro to do the sensor fusion package. We worked with a lot of partners here. And as a result, we've got BIOS that posts in three seconds. It's work with, from AMI, a super thin power adapter. And this PC has been really useful to us internally as we've been developing Windows 8. Wow, how many of them did they make? Well, I was told it's not polite if you don't bring it up to share. So I got 5,000 in a warehouse next wow. week. Wow! <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a few things we haven't shown you. There's hundreds of other features in Windows 8. 
Every single app you saw as a sample, none of them are shipping with, with Windows 8. So how did we build those apps? Turns out they were our college interns this summer. And 20 of them are right here right now who just want to say hi as the first Windows 8 developers. So please give a hand for the first Windows 8 at Metro Style. Stand up, guys. And with that, what I would like to do is thank all of you for your attention this morning and welcome you all to Windows 8 and the developer preview. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>